Peace, family. Happy Juneteenth to you one and all. Uh, I say I share to our ancestors and their strength and thank them for their perseverance and their vision. Welcome, welcome, Gallery 9104, the art house. My little slice of heaven up here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Gonna walk through kind of slow and give you guys a once over. I ain't gonna linger on too much, too much. I want you to be tantalized and feel the need to get on 95 on the Metro North and head north. Come see your boy up here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. We ain't that far outside of New York or Maryland or Philly. Yeah, come on up and see your boy. These are some of the newer pieces. Just got back from the Caribbean about a month ago and uh, the mahogany pods that they grow down there, they have beautiful mahogany trees and these pods, they fall all over the ground. And the minute I saw them, I saw African mass. So I've just been having a ball with these the last three weeks or so. Um, just really kind of playing with textiles. You guys will see the textiles really see kind of it just kind of growing from place to place some of my sculptures are up top on the shelves it's one of our die jobs roofing tile pieces we did some years back these are our swatches and Actually, some of the artist proof. We're working on some uh, reproduction prints. A few of the swatches over this way here. Show you guys what we're working with here. Yeah, solace on the Juju series. Get your Juju. Go back and get your magic, you know? Don't let them steal your magic, your ability to find your center. Let's head up to the third floor. go up the stairs and kind of give you guys a better view when I get up top. The lights on up here for you. Here you go. Back down the stairwell. Lady blue and blue train. Yeah. Back up here. Third floor of the planet is where we when we invite artists, definitely from the Caribbean, but from all over the diaspora. This is gonna be the gallery where we really display their work. Gallery number three, we can have people up and really get a chance to mingle and, and share work. The main goal is, is creating a space that we control that nobody can tell us anything about. We can do what we want in here. And uh, I'm really um, inspired by Danny Simmons and Abio Dune, you know, as, as people who are both, you know, uh, would be like younger brothers to my father. They really, really took the time to, to inspire a lot of us younger cats. Uh, Danny opened up his space with the Corridor Gallery for years of him, just art endlessly. And, and Baba Dune is still doing the same thing now, you know, right there in Harlem. Every Sunday you can go share poetry with him and those things man when you're coming up as a young cat those things are really important so that's the inspiration for you know gallery 9104 the art house was, was continuing that tradition that my senior brothers began you know A lot of cool pieces. Those are from my flower, African flower garden we did years ago, African garden. This is actually, if you got my novel, Sins of My Fathers, that's the, uh, the cover art. Really cool having a space, you know. One of the things I say to a lot of young artists, it's important to have a gallery or a studio or some space you can keep the work up so you can see it and you can really get to see the development, the things you can fix, you know, rather than have to go and take it out and, you know, 
in the kitchen or whatever it is. I mean, you do what you do in the beginning, but you should work towards having a creative space that's yours, you know? He's one of them pieces I don't care if it ever leaves. You know, Slave Ship, I did it maybe 90, you know? And then going back to my point I was making about having this stuff, I mean, here's a piece, Bungo Red, that I did in uh, 1989 as a sophomore in college. And I could absolutely see the jump from this to this piece that I did about 11 years later and then from this piece to the pieces I was doing in my uh, one man play that we took off Broadway this piece I can absolutely see the jumps and having the work up is, is you know being able to put the work up once we were setting up this space is when I really start, got a chance to see that fully and really get a full understanding of that how important that was even though I had heard elders say that and tried that several times Another shrine room here. Just another space. More work. A lot of we I have a lot of the, the beginnings of the textile things I was doing about five years ago. There, I'm really proud of where this is going because you know Baba Lawa told me some years back that I would be getting into textiles, and as a child of grandchild of a tailor and a seamstress, it's back full circle back to my beginnings. You know, another one of our dye jobs here. Um, one of our psychedelic uh, antiques. Another piece from the Get Your Juju series. And some of our sneakers we developed with this company in uh, Italy. Take you guys back downstairs. Again, you know, uh, right here in Bridgeport, I really want you guys to, to, to see the work, dig the work, and, and want to come up for a visit, you know. Um, come hang out with us and spend a little time. See some artwork. Maybe take some stuff home. It's really, I stress to uh, all of our people the importance of collecting each other's work. You know, I share quite a few pieces with fellow artists. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take you in the gallery too right now and show you. Uh, this is kind of the room where a lot of the stuff, uh, fellow artists work that I've, I'm doing a little collecting with. Elders playing Wari. They are always with us. Leave me to my blues. That's a piece by my boy Clive that I collected. Really loved that piece. Love that piece. Love that piece. Wet Nurse. The story of Africa and Europe. Two families, one house. The story of the Middle East. Post bombing. Mama Harriet. Another one of the pieces from our uh, our play. Becoming one of my favorite pieces. This is how we see our young sons. And again, we wanted to create a place where people would, you know, people like they see my art, they dig it, you know, more more collected pieces. And and they really talk about how, you know, uh I really dig your work, man, but Man, it's so powerful. I don't know if I could live with that. And I, so I wanted to create an environment where they could really come and see that. Yeah, man, you could absolutely live with the work, man. That was a Tyler West series over there. You know, and so we put the work everywhere. We put the work in the bathroom throughout the entire house so that they could really get a chance to see that absolutely, yeah, you could live with the art. You could absolutely positively live with the art. More of the new pod pieces that we're working on. Really, really enjoying those pe these pieces. Really enjoying them. Well, if you know my first uh, book of poetry, 41 Times, it's the cover of that, you know? So, uh, yeah. I want to thank you all for coming, man. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed uh, the visit. I'm going to pop you by the uh, the workspace real quick down on the first floor. Um, and I look forward to your, to your visit, you know? Some... Uh, more tile, low relief pieces. Really love the idea of sound objects and, and, and looking at things twice. I, I really stress that with my students, getting them to think about things, you know, two ways, you know. Spirit mother. <laughs> I didn't, I don't want to get in trouble. I didn't tell you guys I didn't point her out. Here she is. Let me get back up before I don't get beat up. That's fire mother there. She don't like to not be acknowledged. <laughs> That's my mom. Fire mother there, you know. 
and definitely our hip hop series along the wall there. You guys got to come up and see the work. Mitochondrial DNA, one of our, another one of our new pieces. 2020 was good for me. The inside time, the, the, the woodshed time, the back to the basics time, it helped me to focus. I focused and I worked. Got real creative and just work was coming out of me. You know, this is the workspace. Several things we looking forward to sharing with you guys. That's from the uh, We Are Not Like Them series. Uh, there's the something from the Inconi series. Are we journey? This is my tribute to Jacob Lawrence. It's a Caribbean American story traveling to North America and Europe, 20th century. Another piece from that series. Just work, you know. Or that they flag all day. And the workspace, you know. Um, we wouldn't believe that we had open studios this weekend, so this is clean for me. This is pretty clean. But this is where this is where uh, all of the uh, exhaling happens for me this is where i find solace and this is where i create the work that hopefully you guys can dig this is the piece i wanted you guys to see this is my sister my baby sister nicole we lost her three years ago to cancer and then this year this is how i, I comforted myself when the tears came i just decided i would channel it into really exploring this textile thing that the baba Lawa told me i would be getting into so if you think about the pieces we saw upstairs versus this you know when we're talking about about maybe four or five years I'm really proud of where this is going. You know, I really hope you guys uh, come see us up here soon. You know, I want to say love to you all. And um, again, let's celebrate our elders and remember their sacrifices and, and stay focused. And love each other, you know, lift each other up. Peace and strength. Ayabamendingo, go on.